Hello again, crochet friends. This is Sylvia with Crazy Cool Crochet, bringing you this super cute crochet cozy cardigan with button sleeves. Did you catch the sleeves in the photos? I've got the really cool crochet buttons. Something very different and so much fun. For this project, I am using a number five bulky yarn, and the yarn that I'm using here is Loops and Threads Impressions. Number five, however, it is so soft, and it's not chunky or too bulky at all. It's exactly what I was looking for. So this helps the cardigan to work up much faster, along with the stitch that I'm using. Now we are also using a tiny bit of contrasting yarn and this is scrap yarn that I had on hand and it's actually a number four and that works fine. That's just going to be for a little bit of a border um, along the cardigan and then to make the buttons. So even though the main yarn is number five and then the scrap yarn, the little border is number four, because we're using the same size hook, it all works just fine. So we'll also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and the hook I am using is an L or an 8 millimeter. This tutorial is for a size small, medium. For larger sizes, please go to the description area, the white space below the video. Open that up. You have to open it manually so you get more information on there or head over to crazycoolcrochet.com where I will have the written instructions. So just to speed things along a little bit, I'm going to work from a swatch and you will chain 40 for a size small medium. You will single crochet into the fourth chain from the hook, chain one, skip the next chain, single crochet in the next chain, chain one, skip the next, single crochet, chain one, and continue across the row. At the last chain, you will do that last single crochet. You'll skip one and enter the last single crochet into the last chain. Then, this is where we are now, chain two and turn. And then we're simply going to do a single crochet, and we're doing regular single crochets into that first space chain one, then single crochet into the next space, chain one, and continue across the row. It really doesn't get much easier than that, right? And that's all you're doing all the way across the row. And then there's your last space right before the turning chain. Chain two, turn, and repeat. So we'll start into that very first space. Chain one, single crochet in the next space, chain one, and continue across, and that's it. That's the whole pattern. And of course, this is what it looks like. This actually is the sleeve. So I'm going to give you the chains and the row counts for each panel. So for the front panel, we will need two. Two front panels exactly the same. So we're going to start with that chain of 40, work the pattern, and we will work with 19 single crochets. So we're not counting the chains in between. 19 single crochets per row, and you will work for 71 rows. You can adjust the length, longer or shorter, by adjusting how many rows you work. For the back panel, you only need one, and you will start with a chain of 100. Follow the pattern exactly the same. Work for the 71 rows, and this time we will be working with 49 single crochets. For the sleeves, we'll need two. Start with a chain of 56. We'll be working with 27 single crochets per row, and we work for 36 rows. For the buttons, I'm going to use reuse uh, the buttons that I made for my crochet asymmetrical poncho. It's the exact same process, so rather than recreate that, I'm going to go ahead and use 
the video from that project. And we will make four buttons in total. Take the yarn, put it in front of your index finger, your pointer finger, and wind it around your finger, leave a little tail, about 17 times. That's 17, and not, don't do it too tightly, because you need to have room to maneuver. Now, very carefully slip it off your fingers so that it does not unwind. And we're going to need to work into that center. So slip it off the fingers. There's your center. Grab your hook. Insert the hook. Now grab the yarn. And bring it through that hole. And do a chain to lock that in. We're going to be working single crochets into that hole. It does feel tight. That is correct. So the goal here is to enter as many single crochets as it takes to cover these strands. And it's okay to wind this around the back here and incorporate it into your single crochets. Okay, so now that we have filled in that circle, those strands, let's go ahead and slip stitch into the first single crochet. Now we are going to repeat that. We're going to enter single crochets into that center hole again, and this time we're working over this row and into the hole. So go into the hole, grab the yarn, pull it up tall, single crochet into the hole, nice and tall, single crochet. You'll do that all the way around again. Yes, it's tight. That's okay. And you can scooch these over if you want to. You don't need to, but I think it makes it in the end, it looks nicer rather than having them spaced out too much. But you can decide as you're working along. Okay, now I have come back to where I started. Slip stitch to join. Now we're going to do reverse single crochets. If you're a beginner, don't worry. This is fairly simple. It might take a couple tries to get used to it. So we're working single crochets going backwards. Instead of going this way, we're going this way. Okay, so into that first chain, insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, two loops on the hook, pull it through for a single crochet. Now into the next chain space, insert the hook, Pull the yarn through, two loops on the hook, pull the yarn through for a single crochet. Into the next chain space, pull the yarn up, two loops on the hook, pull the yarn through both loops, single crochet. See how pretty that's looking? This is going to be the last row. I entered my last reverse single crochet. Now slip stitch into the beginning of that row. Oops. Chain two. Leave a tail. We're going to cut this off. Pull the yarn through, 
squeeze it down. You're squeezing down those chains for a, whoops, <laughs> for a knot. There's your button. When you've completed all your panels, we are going to attach the front panels to the back panel. So you want wrong sides facing up. Place your front panels like so. There's your neck opening in the back. We will attach from this edge to that edge. So we will just use a regular yarn needle and a length of yarn and use a whip stitch. So if you've seen my other videos, you'll see I use the exact same stitch every time, just about. You can use whatever method you prefer to seam. That's fine. After you seam your two front panels to the back panel, we will attach the sleeves. So again, wrong side up. And this time place the sleeve long way. Match up the center of the sleeve with the seam on the shoulder. So I'm showing it right there with the yarn needle. And again, just use your whip stitch all the way down. Now it's time to seam the sides. So this is the wrong side up again. There's your back panel, here's your front panel. So you're going to seam from the bottom up. Do not seam under the arm. That's the whole point of the buttons that we will add when we're done seaming the sides. Right now with the work, the garment right side up, situate your buttons evenly spaced. So the other one will go here. Take that tail from the button if you still have it. Wind it through your yarn needle. We are going to work through both thicknesses, the two thicknesses, the two panels. Now when you're going into the second panel, you don't want to go all the way through because the contrasting yarn will probably show. So pick up one strand from the inside of the panel, the bottom panel. Work your way back up through the button. And you're working along the inside of the reverse single crochets. Go back through. Again, pick up one strand from the inside. Push the needle through the button and continue in that manner all the way around and then tie off the yarn. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is add a border. So the border will be single crochets all the way around. I usually start at the neck on a, a shoulder seam. Do a chain to attach the yarn and then work single crochets all the way around and all the way down. Now, as you are working this, the neck was created rather wide so if you want to close it in go ahead and skip a couple spaces here and there along the neck that's fine that will bring in the neckline and then come on down when you get to the corners at the bottom enter three single crochets in the corner and then continue with your singles all the way around back up then when you get back to where you started chain one turn the garment oh the first row you're doing right side up okay the right side is facing you so now when you come back around and you're going to do a second row so now you're going to chain slip stitch to join chain one turn and then continue back with your single crochets and this time you're only entering one single crochet into each stitch and that's it so again if you still need the neck tightened up Go ahead and skip a couple spaces here and there at the neckline. Now, as a general FYI for your information, this cardigan is very, very oversized, very oversized. It might even fit a size large. Now, this was designed as a small medium. Again, it's quite, quite roomy. It might fit a large if you are very small. 
then you might want to switch to a number four yarn and that will give you an overall smaller garment. I would strongly suggest that because this is quite oversized. So thank you so much for joining me on this project. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. In the white space below, there's a thank you, a little heart that says thanks. That allows you to contribute a little something to my YouTube tip jar. Um, I have explained a few times how that works. So go down there, click on that. It will open up and you'll be able to figure out what that's all about. Thank you for your support and we will see you on the next project.